the map is just a simple set of key and value pairs. In previous videos we have learned about boolean string and number variables in sketchware. Today we are going to learn about map variable in sketchware. For example, if we create two maps, map and my map and look into source code, it comes into knowledge that these maps are actually hash maps. So what is the hash map? In Java, arrays store items as an ordered collection and you have to access them with an index number, integer type. However, a hash map store items in key value pairs you have to access them by another type of index, a string. In both cases, one object is used as a key or index to another object which is actually our value. Before adding values, you have to create the map, then you can start putting values. In a sketch where a map has key and value, both fields uh, for a string, so you can directly store the text or fetch it from a string. And to store a number in the map, you have to use to string operator. Now let's add some dummy values in our number and string variables otherwise we will just get empty white space. So this is the source code. A sketchware uses put method of the hash map to add the values. This is the project which we have used in first and second video. So let's just adjust its UI elements to match our needs instead of creating a whole new project. I have added this button. We will use it to get data from the map. Edit text 2 is the place where we will show the value and edit text 1 is our key and in previous video I have set input type to number let's set it back to text at the moment this is result of the app But these are values added at on create. What if we want to add more values at runtime? So for that, we will add two added textures one for key and another for value, and a button to put values into the map.
we would like to check the length of our map so hash map has a method to check the size we will add a button and a text view we will get the length on click of that button and show it in that text view we haven't added any logic behind the click of those buttons so let's do it So this is how our application looks like. Play with it, add values, get values, check length, go back to project, make changes, experiment with it, learn from it and it is up to you how do you guys utilize it into your projects, how well you are, how good you guys are at learning. This is just a demonstration project. See you in next video. Till then bye bye take care and Allah Hafiz.